Up to date around the clock, here's tonight's WIS 7 at 7. A state representative is asking the governor's office to investigate whether the South Carolina Department of Health and Human Services provides voter registration cards to non-U.S. citizens. In response to the concern, Governor Henry McMaster said that integrity of our elections is top priority. As authorities in Bamberg County work to find a missing and endangered woman, they say they found apparent human remains inside of a burnt car. 25-year-old Megan Boniford was last heard from on Thursday after authorities say she expressed concerns that her boyfriend may kill her. The remains have not been identified at this time, but we will keep you updated as we learn more. May is South Carolina's Hurricane Preparedness Month as the season kicks off in June. State officials say during this month, communities and businesses are encouraged to plan for the 2024 season. They ask you to know your zone, prepare your home, and remember your route. A ban on gender-affirming care for kids and teens in South Carolina is being debated right now at the State House. This bill would ban minors in South Carolina from undergoing gender transition procedures and prohibit state dollars from directly or indirectly going toward these procedures, among other things. Police in New York and Los Angeles stepped onto college campuses overnight to de-escalate violence and clear school buildings being occupied by pro-Palestinian protesters who are pushing for an end to the war in Gaza. Officials say more than 1,000 people were arrested. Florida's restrictive six-week abortion ban went into effect today. Before now, patients had 15 weeks to legally seek an abortion. The new ban has limited exceptions for life of the patient, fetal anomalies, and also rape, incest, and human trafficking until 15 weeks. And a senior prom, not for high schoolers, but for senior citizens. One Rhode Island senior home was given a night to remember as the home was decked out and everyone dressed to the nine. Even a local high school cosmetology department came in to assist with everyone's wardrobe and hair for the very special night. That's all for tonight's At 7.